Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link your mass delimiter parameters in Reaper. Now, why would you want this? Let's say you're working on a song and you want it to be a bit louder. So you want to use a brick wall limiter to accomplish that. So I have a track in front of me here. Let's see what it sounds like. And I want to make it sound louder. So I'm going to add a limiter to the master two bus. Right here on the master track, I'll go to the effects. I'll search in the filter by typing limit. And here's a bunch of limiters. Here's the standard one called master limiter. And if I open it, it looks like this. And I could bring down the threshold to make the track louder. So if I start up here, it sounds the same. And then I slowly bring it down, it'll get louder. But there's one problem with this. As it gets louder, we're actually adding distortion or clipping, and it's hard to tell how much we're adding because it's actually getting louder. So one way to fix this is to link up these two parameters, our threshold and the limit. So if I bring this down to 4 dB and bring this down 4 dB, no volume is going to change. But now we can more easily hear any artifacts or distortion that's being added. But moving them separately isn't very useful. So I'm going to show you how to link these two so we can bring this down without changing the volume. So let's bring this back up to here, and we're going to link them. But there's one problem with linking them. If I bring this down all the way, it goes to minus 20. If I bring this down all the way, it only goes to minus 6. So if we link them now, they're not going to stay in proportion to each other. So what we should do first is go right here to edit, which opens this window, and go over here to our sliders. Here's our threshold, and here's the limit. Our threshold is set to minus 20, and the limit is set to minus 6. So we're going to change them both to be the same. Let's use minus 20, and then I'll save it down here by hitting Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and hitting S to save it. Now it's recompiled. And now if I bring this down, it's minus 20. If I bring this down, it's also minus 20. So when we link them, they're going to stay perfectly aligned with each other. So now I'll go down over here and just click on this parameter, the limit one. So it's the last touch parameter. Go to the menu and see what says last touched limit and choose Parameter Modulation MIDI Link, which opens up this window. We'll choose Link from MIDI or Effects Parameter, and we'll go to this menu and link it to our threshold. So our limit is now linked to the threshold. Let's bring down the baseline. So if I move the threshold, the limit level moves with it. So let's hear the difference as we bring it down. The volume pretty much stays the same, but we can hear the artifacts that limiting is causing. So it makes it easier to choose how much distortion we can deal with and how loud we can make our track. So let's find a good level. At about 6 dB, sounds pretty good. So I can go down over here and unlink it. So now we can double click the limiter to put it back to negative 0.1, and a track will be louder. But we got a better idea of what the limiting is actually doing. Let's try the same thing with a different limiter. And this time we'll choose the Event Horizon limiter. 
which is one of my favorites. And it's going to work pretty much the same. You bring down the threshold, which is going to make it louder. But again, it's getting louder, making it harder to tell what we're actually doing. So let's bring it back up. And again, go to edit and make sure the threshold and the ceiling are set the same. This one is set to minus 20, and this one's minus 30. So let's set them both to minus 30. Save it. Now this setting is minus 30, and so is this one. So we link them up, they're gonna match. So again, we'll click on the ceiling, go to parameter, parameter modulation, MIDI link, link for MIDI or effects parameter. Let's set this to threshold, bring down the baseline. Now if I bring down the threshold, they move together. So again, we're gonna hear the limiting, but not the volume change. With this limiter, it sounds okay at about minus four. So again, we could turn this off right here, bring this back up, and get a louder overall track. And this makes it a lot easier to tell what the limiter is actually doing. So that's pretty much it. That's how to link our master limiter parameters in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.